I'm gonna have to visit my court Because I am getting sued now by AVGN Because I stole his intro from him as well And now I'm done I sold my house I don't live anywhere anymore I'm homeless and I have nothing Because AVGN took everything And now the only thing I have is my intro March of the Living Developed by David Toulouse and produced by None other than our admin, Neil Yates Of the MMO Dead Frontier David was an employee during the time he was developing MOTL which needed him to find a publisher or face the consequences of having to abandon production or delay the game. Luckily for him, Neil Yates had plenty of money selling Wraith Cannons in Dead Frontier, which led to Neil helping out with funding since he probably sympathizes with what it's like to be an indie zombie game developer. Near the time of release, another personal problem hits David. His dear friend and pet Tigus passes away, and Neil becomes more motivated to help out. This leads to him going into his own game's forum to persuade his players to buy the game in exchange for a custom-made implant. Players being extremely unhappy to hear that Neil wasn't focusing on his own game again, decides to joke and comment saying that they will get the game just for the implant and then proceed to leave negative reviews. Neil was less than happy to see the following posts and made a detailed explanation why he's so passionate with helping out with MOTL's release. But wait, what? Just because the, the guy went through a lot while he was making the game, does this mean it, you should buy it? Well, no, of course not. We're gonna find out whether or not it's a good game. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, uh, reading a script. Uh, here's my copy of MOTL, it's on the NES, let's see how it goes. First impression for me, I like the music, it's very good, it's close to State of Decay and Left 4 Dead's, uh, you know, quality of music. Uh, some people might not like the visual graphics, but you know, there are certain games out there that aren't meant to look photorealistic or aren't meant to be 3D. I mean, I'll give you a few examples Terraria, Minecraft, uh, fucking. Um, maybe I shouldn't do reviews because I'm qu unqualified. So. As you can see, there's three other characters we have to unlock. That's great because it just says that, you know, this game gives you multiple goals. Here's a, here's a bunch of other rewards if you, you know, if you fucking play it, right? It's, it's great. It's game Design 101. There's a lot of reading in this game. If you aren't the type who enjoys reading, then this isn't for you. I personally like having to read everything no I don't but hey it's, it's pretty fun it's, it's good it's um, I mean it's 6 a.m. I haven't slept when you begin combat this is where the problems of the game start showing it takes your pistol expert three seconds to shoot at something right in front of his face and the only way to fix this is by getting a better weapon Another problem is that you have to command everyone in the group since they're incapable of making their own decisions. You have to break immersion during a fast-paced moment by pausing the game constantly to make decisions because your group members have to be told when to run or when to shoot. Well, because it takes me ages to make videos now, uh, they actually patch the issue where the characters won't automatically shoot at things. So that's good, because it shows that the developers actually care. And guess what? Another issue. When I got the furthest I could get in the game, because it's so damn difficult, a zombie got behind my character, and there was no way to kill the zombie. Why? Because it was right behind my character. And everyone that tried to aim at the zombie kept aiming over my character. There was nothing I could do, I was just screwed. 
I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm, I was just, that's it. I'm done. I got so far, the furthest I could do, I was just screwed. What? what? No. Oh, that was never a problem. I should have been clicking the portrait. Why, are, why is your character sleeping in the middle of the road? It's supposed to be dangerous. And yet they're sleeping in the middle of the road, and then you get attacked by zombies, dude. You, you, there's a fucking valley behind you. Why don't you fucking go there, dude? Please go there, sleep there, anywhere else. Neil, what are you doing here, dude? Relax. Whoa, chill, bro. <laughs> what are you doing with that shotgun? I heard you was talking shit, boy. Okay, you just don't take away my implant, please. When are you going to start saying positive things about the game? You're too busy whining about everything. Oh, don't worry, I'll start saying good stuff about it. I'll even recommend the game in the end. Don't worry, Neil. Well, unintentional bugs and visual problems aside, this isn't a bad game. It's, it's very good. The way you get survivors to join you is when you help them get out of a bad situation. And it's very easy for everyone, including the main character, to die in this game. Which makes you more invested in them and more interested in keeping them alive. They're not a bunch of super soldiers that can mow down anything like you would in plenty of other zombie games. And you know what? This game's strength is also its weakness. It's too easy to lose. Which leads to you restarting over and over. In fact, I couldn't even finish Greg's storyline for this game while I was making the review. Uh, again, they addressed this. Um, Neil mentioned that they are going to add difficulty modes. You know, I, I'm sure plenty of people enjoy playing this game hardcore. But some people also want to learn the basics of it, you know, like me, because I'm a noob, you know, I'm, I'm horrible at the game, I'm, I'm, I'm crap, dude, just, just end, end everything. Now, the map works like this. There's a bunch of lines and there's a bunch of squares. The lines represent the path or the road that you're gonna travel in to get there. And the squares represent points of interest where events would happen. Now, you may ask, why is the map so simple? Why, why isn't it detailed? Like, you know, the Thor the Explorer map or something. Well, that's because it's obvious that uh, the development company needed to cut down on production costs. After all, David is a one-man developing team and Neil only came in to help with a bunch of stuff. Other than that, the map randomizes every time, so adding in detail would have been difficult anyway. Something that would have uh, caused them to have to uh, hold back on the release. I don't mind the map, personally. It's a schematic diagram style map, like the ones you would see in the London Underground. And guess what? The London Underground map design is genius. Because it's simple, and it just shows you what you need to see. That's pretty much it. That's the end of it. And David decided, hey, you know what? It's a good idea if I fucking steal this from Harry Beck. Yo, what's up, homeboy? Call him. Shout out to Harry Beck. <laughs> Hunger and fatigue mechanic. How are they? They're not that annoying. They're very good, actually. They're fair. You don't get that much uh, penalty from hunger and fatigue. In fact, hunger doesn't really decrease your health. Unless, you know, it, it, it only temporarily decreases your health until your characters eat. Now, if you get in combat while your character is extremely fatigued and starving, it'll make combat a little bit harder because you get penalties. If you have 1 HP left and you get hungry, I found out that you will die instantly because the temporary decrease will just delete that 1 HP right off. Events. There's a lot of events. There's multiple events. I just said that twice. Uh, I've only seen the ones in Zone 1 because uh, I always keep dying by the time I get to Zone 2. Uh, the events uh, refresh, I would say. When you make the same choice in the next playthrough, there's a chance it's gonna have a different outcome, which is great. 
but my one complaint is that the events sometimes have limited options for example this guy you know aims at me with a shotgun I'm like you know dude relax I'm, I'm coming in and then he's like back away please uh, sir I have a shotgun I'll shoot you if you come forward and what were my two choices die or shoot the guy why isn't there a third option to just fucking walk away like this gentleman has kindly asked me to do you know crap mm, what you say oh, something something meant well <laughs> what you say Chicken, how about the story? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, viewer. Mm, what you say? Oh, something, something meant well. <laughs> what you say? What you say? Oh, something, something. Chicken, how about the story? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, viewer, that I haven't finished the story. You know why? Because I suck at the game, right? I, I just said that I keep dying in zone one. Why? Because this game's difficult. There's a lot of problems with it right now that they haven't fixed yet, okay? But because, you know, you guys are special, I'm going to make sure I get to zone 2 at least, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Greg over here trained, yeah? To get the right body condition to defeat zombies. Oh no, Greg, you fell down. Oh, I haven't edited for two days. Oh, let's just go for TPK because you're all pumped up. <laughs> yeah. Uh. By the way, if you have no idea how Dead Frontier works and you've never played it before and you don't know how leaderboards work and top player killer works and you're screwed, you're not gonna get these jokes, oh! <laughs> Okay, so we're doing good so far. We just we just have to be champion. We're at the top two. It's fantastic. Yo, 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 hold on for a minute. Before we start this play, I want to thank my fans, I want to thank my mom, I want to thank Amma for supporting me, I want to thank my dad, I want to thank my brother, my dog, my aunt, my uncle, I want to thank Amma and Paul for this Rage Cannon and Vengeance card and this Ultra Boost, I want to thank all my clammies for supporting me and believing in me, I want to thank all my YouTube subscribers for being there for me and for supporting all the videos that I make, and I also want to leave a shout out to my humble Lee GA for always believing in me. Also, I have this new mixtape coming out. It's called It's Not Easy Being a Champion LP. 
and it starts out like this. Yo, it's Champion here, and I'm about to take on Greg. He may be spamming shit at me, but y'all gonna see him beg. Showing no mercy, about to drop him on his knees. Next thing you know, he be telling me, please. Compile him in the head, now he gone and dead. It's game over, Greg, and off to the set. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. I was in the match. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm about to go end this one with one move. Check this out. Oh, that's about it guys. Thanks for supporting me in this TBK run. I gotta go buy another Ultra Dragon and grind some more EXP for no reason at all. Hope you kids enjoyed the show. Thanks. Oh hell nah, nigga. You know who I am? I'm the motherfucking champion. Hell no, fool. Guess what guys, Greg somehow won TPK, for some reason the champion got disqualified, let's go, he saved Greg's wife and kids, but yeah, and yeah, go, Louis. Welcome back to March of Living, we're gonna start a new game, now as you can see, we bought the X dusk Enforcer for Greg over here, we also, you know, got to, uh, a better level because of the training. We've got more endurance. You know, Dusk Enforcer has limited ammo. He's a pistol expert. We did a stat reset over here. He's a gunslinger. He's resilient. He's, he's light eater. He's got more endurance, you know, because, yeah, man, getting up those stats and fucking. He's immune to infection because we've been guzzling up a ton of neurotonin ABs, you know, but we don't need to bring any of that because, oh. Oh. Moment of truth, Greg. Show them what you're made of. Uh, back away, please, uh, sir. I have a shotgun. I'll shoot you if you. Whoa! Look what I found, Greg. It's a note. Whoa! We better read it. it might be about Warren, your stupid son. Whoa! Dear Warren, as always, you're late. I'm taking off out to this crazy place, and I'm going to my cabin. You know the place. I'm stuck with this stupid kid right now, but I figure we can use him to sneak into places and steal him. If he dies, he does anyway. <coughs> anyway, don't waste time. You know where to find me. Zach. MC Katana and an MC Grinder. Hey Zach, uh, just wanted to ask you something. Zach. Go for it. Why did you kidnap my son Tom, and what happened to Chloe, and why is she all chained and, and mutilated on the bed? I kidnapped your son Tom because I prefer boys to girls. And, uh, after I got Chloe I realized that, so I had to get him too. And, uh, she's just a bitch. Um, I agree. Why are you all the way at Zone Three with Tom? Then you left me a note saying, "Hey, chicken, come and get me." Uh, I prefer Zone Three. They uh, give better blowjobs. Thanks. Thanks, Zach. I totally oh, just I died to another I... fucking person. So, guys, it turns out that Zach's cabin was the mumble chat room for Karmic Justice. Uh, I got Tom back unharmed, and uh, now we just have to get out of here and uh, get every survivor with me to safety. Dusk Enforcer is gonna serve us very well though, so there's nothing to worry about, cause you know, 
It's, it's all good, man. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good, isn't it? Yeah? It's all good. Okay, so basically, right, you make it to the docks, okay? And you get welcomed by everyone. Everyone's like, depending on what you choices you made, everyone's like, wow, good job, good job. Or they're like, oh, look at these guys, look at these guys, yeah. And anyway, I want to skip to the final part because I don't want to spoil everything, okay. Basically, right, the general welcomes you and then suddenly a bunch of guys come. They're like, whoa, whoa, we're free, whoa, yeah, yeah. And then, then fucking, you know, you like, you like, you have a choice. You're like, dude, should I let them in or should I not? And then, and then John Cena, he's like, no, I'm going to fucking kill these people, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill these people, and then he goes and then fucking shoots these people, and you can choose to stop him, right? And now Greg has to wrestle him, but it's difficult to fight John Cena because he's a fucking professional wrestler, dude. You can't just expect to beat John Cena, right? And then Greg can't see him because he's John Cena, right? You, you fucking, you, you can fight him, and then you have to fight him with uh, he's got a knife. And then, and then after he's got a knife, you gotta keep fighting him. Y you know, you could, you could fail multiple times. You pin John Cena, you know, for the three count, right? Fucking uh, general comes out of nowhere. He's like, bro, you know, hey, uh, enough fighting, man. I know you just killed John Cena, but shit, man, there's a lot of zombies. Do you mind holding off while we fucking haul ass? Cause we don't want you in our ship. And, and then you know. You, you have to stay back and uh, kill the zombies, and uh, and that's pretty much the end of it. And that's you know that's my story. I mean, like there's different outcomes. Yeah. There's different outcomes. You know, like you can have different outcomes. And... So that was March of the Living. I mean, uh, what do I rate the game? Uh, fucking, um, um. Well, I, I want to keep my implant, so like you know, it's, it's okay, I guess. It's not, it's not great. I mean, fucking, why do I have to fight John Cena, dude? He's so hard to beat. Sorry, sorry for the cop out ending. Come on, man. I had like three university projects. I had to hold off the video for another four days, man. You need to understand how difficult it is to fucking make videos, man. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, before you ask, no, I wasn't sponsored or paid or anything to make this video. I just wanted to make it. Unfortunately, it took me, you know, two more weeks or another week. To release this because of university and all that crap uh, I wanted to release it before the 10 days of um, release was over you know for the promo for everyone to get it well I mean, you know it's a shame that I can't do that now whatever I'd like to thank uh, champion for <laughs> voicing in this video please check out his channel or he's gonna block you for TPK uh, check out Boba he made the 8-bit uh, Guile Steam very good musician, you know, he does a lot of other themes. Uh, Ryan Stack for uh, doing the AVGN theme cover, you know, that I dubbed over horribly. And also, obviously, don't forget to check out Dave Toulouse's Gay March of the Living, you know, if you, if you can afford it, $15 dude, shit, man, that's a lot of money, man. I mean, lots of starving children in Africa could eat that game, man. Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, you know, I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe or leave a like or comment because you shouldn't, you know, you should just close this channel and just leave. Just, you know, just never visit ever again because this channel is horrible. Thanks so much. Goodbye.